Straight off the bat, we are going to have a few sales videos this week because it's Black Friday week and there's no way I can cover everything in this one. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Let's be honest, this is the last thing we needed. The Black Friday sales have begun in the US and the EU regions. The US has the usual whereby they don't have a lot of the best deals that we have here in the EU, but you do have a fair few of your own. So what I'm going to do with this video is go back and forward between the EU and the US and where you don't have a sale, I will let you know if there's a physical sale in your area so you can still pick it up at a discounted rate. As anyone that's been around the channel for a long time knows, Switch Up is Glenn and Mark. We're basically just two pals who used to work together and there's no big business or corporation behind it. So what started out as completely self-funded has grown to something that we can actually rely on for an income. So sponsors like Established Titles who are gonna sponsor our Christmas videos, at least they're doing something for the environment. And even if you don't wanna become a Lord without a sponsor of some form and with no corporate backing, this channel essentially wouldn't survive. You'll never find it in review videos but it's still a massive honor when any companies want to come and actually work with just us. We do also have our website where you can save 10% on any of these games by using code SWITCHUP to buy your eShop vouchers. That also gives us a tiny little kickback. And again, that's Nintendo saying that they trust us enough to work with us through the company Fame Hype, which is just it blows, blows my mind, honestly. My name is Mark Walker. Welcome back to Switch Up. What are the best games on sale? Well, let's find out. First up then, and a good example of the sales that are on in the EU region, but not the US, we have Ori and the Will of the Wisps. This time around, the adventure in this beautiful Studio Ghibli style takes the main characters on a hunt for their missing friend. The world is absolutely delightful. The way your character moves around the world and the platforming, everything's so fluid, and it's a real masterclass in world design. Moon Studios did a brilliant job of improving on the first game while keeping the same overall aesthetic and flavor. Now, I know people don't like terms like Metroidvania, but it does help you to understand some of the elements that are within the title and it's an action adventure platformer at its core that will span around about 15 hours maybe a bit longer depending on your play style and it scored one of the highest scores on the channel of all time really an essential game to own and it plays beautifully in handheld mode as well this episode was sponsored by established titles you might be wondering mark what does that say that right there says Lord Mark Walker <laughs> because this certificate basically is a plot in Scotland on an estate there and it gives me the uh, right to be the Lord of my own land. Established titles is a fun and novel way to preserve the natural woodlands of Scotland while helping global reforestation efforts. It's a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lairds or lords and ladies in English. When you buy a title pack, they give you at least one square foot of dedicated land with a unique plot number on a private estate in Edelston in Scotland. And obviously you'll get your official certificate so that everyone in your household knows exactly who you are. You could officially include the title of Lord or Lady on your credit card or plane tickets. It makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titles is actually running a massive Black Friday sale right now. Plus, if you use the code Lord Switch Up, you get an additional 10% off. For the first 200 of you who click my link that's down in the description, you'll get to have your plot right next to mine so that we can literally start the Switch Up Kingdom and be lords and ladies together. Go to establishedtitles.com forward slash lord switch up to get your gifts now and help support the channel. Broken Sword 5 is one of the only Broken Sword games we have on the Nintendo Switch, but at the moment it's 90% off, which takes it down to £3.74 or your regional equivalent. And it features George Stobart as well as Nico. It's Nico, isn't it? And this one's again set in Paris. Now they're very famous point and click adventure games, but they took it into a more modern aesthetic, I guess, where it's a 3D controlled character, but it still has a lot of the same aspects. It's more of a refinement really. And at 90% off, it's the cheapest I've ever seen it on the Switch eShop. It feels quite nostalgic to play. It starts out with a murder in an art gallery. And just hearing those voice actors that you kind of grew up playing, it's not the most unique story, but it just feels like a continuation really. It works. What's cool that I didn't realize is that the Switch version actually includes behind the scene films that were created especially for this version, giving you a bit of a glimpse into its development. For this style of game, quite long as well, around about 12 to 15 hours. Then we get onto something a bit meatier, 
and it's Persona 5 Royal. This in the EU regions and Australia is 30% off on the eShop. But the big kicker here is that the US has an incredible sale at Target. You can pick up the physical edition for just $29. That's a massive saving. Now I know some people get a bit annoyed when games have just come out go on sale, but let's be honest, we knew Black Friday was coming up and they put in such a good deal of work to the Switch version to make it just it's just a really nice version. Beside perhaps a little bit of blurriness, they've respected the product that they've got here and they've given you something worthwhile, which cannot be said for all new releases. <coughs> Pokemon. This one is around about 100, 150 hour long adventure. I'm only 35 hours into it, but I'm loving every minute and it really does live up to the hype. Very stylized, excellent story writing and some where those themes can come mighty close to home. Then we've got Vampire. This one at the moment is 65% off, taking it down to £12.59. It's a third person adventure game where the main protagonist, essentially as the title suggests, is a vampire, but he's still going about his day job working in the hospital. And it's very cool. It keeps a track of all of the characters that you meet and that you come across and their current standings and status. It's actually very, you know, it's, it's cleverer than uh, first meets the eye. Now the combat is, is all right, it's fine, but it's the way it gets you to almost become a fly on the wall into the lives of the people of this city that, that really does kind of elevate the experience. But approximately 30 to 40 hours to finish. That Victorian London is just such a good setting for a game as well. I wish it looked slightly better on the Switch version, but it's fine. Right, then we've got Dark Souls Remastered here in the EU and Australian regions again. It's 50% off, half price. Usually a good indicator when we get this one because it means the US will get this in a week or so. I really don't understand why they don't just have global sales on Switch. It's quite, it's quite frustrating really if you're someone that doesn't want to have multiple accounts. But regardless, it's a very nice version of Dark Souls. It runs well enough, it looks decent. And when you're busting around in your mankini on those naked runs with your sword and shield, doing so in handheld is uh, quite the... Uh, experience. I guess there's a chance you've never played this one and if that's the case then consider checking it out while it's on sale. That sale goes on until November the 30th. At its lowest price at the moment, we have the lovely Garden Story. That's 40% off, down to just £10.79. I couldn't even get one Wagamama's noodle dish for that yesterday. Cost me bloody 14 quid. Can you believe that? What a joke. I was still hungry. Isn't it disappointing when you get a takeaway and you're still hungry afterwards? That's like, no, no thanks. Anyway, Garden Story. This is a sales video, Mark. Stop talking about food. Okay, all right. This one is set around, well, a load of peas and stuff that are trying to unify their community as you are the newly appointed guardian of the grove. It doesn't again do anything particularly special but everything's done well enough that it's just a really enjoyable experience. I guess you just need to taper your expectations a little bit. If you like that kind of top down action adventure, old school style, then this is certainly one to try out and I do love it when these developers manage to squeeze everything into such a small package. Looking at 203 megabytes to download and about a 15 to 20 hour game. If you're interested interested in that one, the sale goes on until November the 30th and it's also in all regions. Then there's the excellent Fist Forged in Shadow Torch, which is an action adventure in the Metroid style that has a bunny rabbit with a giant mechanical fist. It's funny this one because I thought the combat system was really nice. You can unlock new moves, you can grab enemies and toss them around. And although it had been out on other platforms, I hadn't actually played it on other platforms until I knew this was coming and then I picked it up on the Steam Deck. I was pleasantly surprised to see that it still ran and looked decent on the Switch version, but I think it kind of got swallowed up by a lot of other releases around about that time. Now this is EU and AU regions and it's £18.89 which is essentially a 30% discount. You can get different attachments for that fist as well. So you've got the fist, you can get a drill, there's a whip and weirdly the uh, start town reminded me at times of the city of Midgar from Final Fantasy 7. And that reminds me, man we've got that um, 
the remake, haven't we, of the Final Fantasy, is it Crisis Core? And what I didn't realize is that they've actually used the new engine that was used on um, Final Fantasy VII, the, the remake. And they've stated that the Switch version is going to run at native resolution, I believe, in docked and handheld and 30 frames per second. If they've actually managed to achieve that, then I'd say that's a good indicator that we might see the, re the remake on Switch, which would just be, oh man, that would be so good. Next up, we've got a, a very unlikely game. It was unlikely because I just didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did. It shouldn't be as fun as it is. It's SnowRunner, and you might take one look at that and go, no thanks. <laughs> a game with a load of different trucks in a completely open sandbox world, how could that possibly be fun? But it's almost got a mission structure like you'd find in an open world adventure game. So you might repair a bridge, or you might hop online and join four, four people and, and go about in co-op working together. Everything's fully physics based. So every aspect from the mud to the snow is physically rendered and it will affect the way you drive. Sometimes you'll get completely stuck and need to head out in a different vehicle to pull yourself out of the mud. And there is just something about this that is so incredibly addictive, but it's also very relaxing. So if you want something completely off the wall, this one is on sale in all regions and it might sound expensive at 25 quid. I guess you could get the first game, which is also on sale and much cheaper than that. It's called Spin Tires Mud Runner. But Snow Runner, wow, brilliant game, well worth it and just something a bit different. That then takes me onto one of my favorite games on Switch, one of the most addictive, it's Everspace. This comes from the team that brought us Galaxy on Fire back on mobile, and it's an incredibly well done roguelike experience. It actually does the whole story overruns thing, as well as Hades, but it did it in a different, a completely different way at a different time. So each time you go on a run, you gradually gain new credits and stuff that you can then use to either buy better ships, but also the missions that you go out on, they carry over the runs as well. So you're, there's never a feeling of, the, you know that usual roguelike feeling, it's like, well, I've lost everything. Here we go again. You don't get that because there's that continuation. Really good. Controls could have been better. I did moan at them about not having gyro, but you can tweak the control system. I think it's uh, option three is much better, in my opinion, as far as overall controls go. And it's a really, really nice game, this one. Now, although it's not available in the US, you can pick it up for $27 physically at Walmart. The hidden gem then of this video, remember there will be another sales video in the week, hopefully where we can cover a lot more US sales as well, and it's Curse of the Dead Gods. I actually felt sorry for this one because it released in the era of Hades and, and everyone makes that comparison, you know, is it as good as Hades? Is it? Well, it's completely different. It's got a very interesting mechanic that uses light and dark and with the light helping you do more damage, etc. But as far as gameplay it stands on its own two feet there are similarities in terms of moving room to room difficult boss fights tough enemies and its unique hook is essentially a curse system so taking on those curses if you can survive with them will then be converted in a way into a reward it's something actually weirdly we've seen in blazing beaks that did a similar thing and it worked nicely over there rob reviewed that one for us and really enjoyed it so in terms of games that are still on sale from last week you've got the cotton reboot which is 60 percent off ninja saviors 50 percent off a really good uh, side scrolling fighter and space tales the metroidvania featuring the cute little dog is still on sale but those were pre black friday so there are some incredible deals as I say. I'm planning on doing a video that essentially has first party and AAA sales and Glenn and I are going to record one that has um, sales that are like 60% or greater off as well so you can expect a lot of sales action. I think it's important that we try and cover off the ones that are more rarely on sale you know rather than the same old there are loads of brilliant sales that i probably won't mention that you just see very often so i'm just trying to make these videos a bit more unique and a, and a bit more useful because you can guarantee if they go on sale all the time they're going to be on sale again as i always say save yourself 10 percent using code switch up over at switchup.gg and just a thanks to the yeah so many of you use that and that really does help us out thanks to our patreons and to our members i think we've got even more members now i think we might have 16 17 members something like that i think that's good <laughs> and we really appreciate it all that's left to say is, for all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!